What we're going to do in this video is figure out what 389,002 minus 76,151 is. And like always, I encourage you to pause the video and try to figure it out on your own. That's the best way to really, even if you're not able to figure it out, if we get a different answer, then when I work through it with you, it will really stick in your brain that much more. All right, now let's work through it together. And the way I'm going to do it is sometimes called the standard method or the standard algorithm, algorithm being a fancy word for a method. And so what I'm going to do is first write the, the 389,002. So 389,002. And I'm subtracting 76,151. And so you notice the first thing that I did is I aligned the digits to the appropriate place value. I put the ones below the ones, the five, the tens below the tens, the hundreds below the hundreds, the thousands below the thousands, the ten thousands below the ten thousands, so on and so forth. And now we're ready to subtract. So the first thing we might do is, well, let's look at the ones place. Here I have two ones, my, and I'm going to take away one one, so I'm going to be left with one one. That was pretty straightforward. But then things get a little bit more difficult when we get to the tens place. How do I take five tens from zero tens? So let me just not think about that for a second. But I have the same problem in the hundreds place. How do I take away 100 from zero hundreds? Now when I go to the thousands place, I can take away six thousands from nine thousands. But before I do that, what I want to do is regroup so that I don't have zeros here. So, I'm going to, so that I can take away from the hundreds and the tens place. And so what I can do is, I can rewrite nine thousands. So I'm going to take away one of those thousands, so I'm going to have eight thousands. And I'm going to regroup it as ten hundreds. So this can be that one thousand would be ten hundreds. Now that solves the problem except for the tens place. But what I can then do is I could take away one of those hundreds, so I only have nine hundreds now. And I can regroup that extra hundred as ten tens. So as ten tens. And now I can keep subtracting. So in the tens place, ten tens minus five tens is five tens. I go to the hundreds place, nine hundreds minus one hundred is eight hundred. I go to the thousands place, eight thousand minus six thousand is two thousand. And then I can go to the ten thousands place. This is essentially eight ten thousands, or eighty thousand minus seventy thousand is going to be ten thousand. One ten thousand, and then last but not least, I have my three hundred thousands. So there you go. We're done. This is three hundred and twelve thousand eight hundred and fifty-one. This is the standard method. I started at the ones place. Sometimes it's good to just do a check to make sure every digit on top in the appropriate place is large is at least equal to the digit that you're subtracting from it and so you could do the regrouping ahead of time but either way you will end up with a similar process